How will the U.S. respond to the West losing its hegemony? After Turkey, a NATO member decided to join BRICS, and a response from the West was anticipated. The U.S. has finally spoken out, but seems unwilling to accept the reality. The West still treats the demand for a multipolar world as though it's a nightmare. However, with a NATO member joining BRICS, the situation is becoming a reality. So, what exactly did the U.S. say? Let's find out. When Turkey, a long-standing NATO member, knocked on the door of BRICS, it sent ripples through the international political landscape. For years, Turkey has balanced its Western alliances while trying to nurture its independent ambitions. But this recent move? It signals something bigger, something that has the West, and particularly the U.S., scrambling for a coherent response. Turkey's application to join BRICS is more than a diplomatic action. It's a statement. This shift is not just about Turkey seeking new alliances. It's about the broader narrative of nations, particularly in the global south, beginning to realize that the West's monopoly on global power is crumbling. The U.S., ever the reluctant spectator in its decline, has finally issued a response. But what does that response say about the current state of Western influence? More importantly, how does this reflect the growing appeal of BRICS to countries tired of being tethered to Western interests? Turkey's decision to apply for BRICS membership didn't exactly elicit an immediate reaction from the U.S. Washington's response came much later, delivered with all the usual diplomatic platitudes we've come to expect. The State Department spokesperson, in a carefully crafted statement, emphasized that Turkey is an important ally with whom we work on several issues. But is that the heart of the matter, or is it a thinly veiled expression of concern over Turkey's pivot away from Western dominance? Let's be honest, Turkey's move was bound to make the U.S. uncomfortable. BRICS, after all, represents a growing coalition of nations seeking to challenge the old guard of Western hegemony. For Turkey, which has traditionally been important in NATO's strategic plans, this application is a clear signal that the days of unquestioned Western allegiance are over. Yet, instead of addressing the elephant in the room, the waning influence of the West, the U.S. downplays the significance, attempting to keep Turkey tethered to the NATO fold with vague reassurances of cooperation. So, is this response a sign of indifference? Hardly. It's a calculated attempt to mask the deeper fear within the corridors of Washington, the fear that NATO's influence is no longer enough to keep its members in check. Turkey's application is a canary in the coal mine for the West, and the U.S. knows it. But for all its diplomatic rhetoric, Washington remains reluctant to confront the real issue, the growing global desire for autonomy from Western dominance. As the U.S. tries to keep face, let's talk about what the U.S. doesn't want to talk about. Why is Turkey looking beyond the West, and what does this say about BRICS' growing appeal? Here's a reminder to please like and share the video, and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos on Africa's geopolitics, economy, and changing landscape. Let's continue now. Turkey's move toward BRICS is no accident. It's part of a larger global trend where nations, particularly those in the global south, are recognizing that they no longer need to rely solely on Western powers for economic or political stability. The West, particularly the U.S., has for too long dictated the terms of international alliances, trade, and security. But BRICS offers something different, an alternative to the Western-centric world order. For Turkey, this is about diversifying its alliances and influence. With a long history of being pulled between East and West, Turkey is now asserting that it can play both sides, or, more accurately, forge its path. BRICS provides an opportunity for Ankara to engage with other rising powers without being constrained by Western priorities. In particular, BRICS' focus on economic cooperation and development aligns more closely with Turkey's ambitions to expand its influence in the global arena. But why BRICS? Well, it's simple. BRICS isn't just a block. It's a symbol of the shift from Western dominance to a more multipolar world. For countries like Turkey, the appeal lies in the potential for collaboration with nations that understand what it means to rise from under the shadow of Western control. Turkey sees BRICS as an opportunity to align itself with nations that are rewriting the global rules rather than simply playing by them. Is the U.S. prepared for a multipolar world?
The U.S., for all its talk of promoting democracy and freedom, has never been particularly fond of the idea of a multipolar world. After all, American influence has been built on maintaining control over global alliances, and NATO has been the crown jewel of that strategy. Turkey's flirtation with BRICS is a direct challenge to that, and it exposes the uncomfortable truth that the U.S. is no longer the only game in town. For decades, Washington has relied on its NATO allies to serve as the foundation of its global strategy. But what happens when those allies start exploring other options? Turkey's application to BRICS is more than just a diplomatic action. It's a clear message to the U.S. that the world is changing, and the old alliances may no longer hold the same weight. The U.S. response, or lack thereof, reveals the cracks in its foreign policy. While it may talk a big game about respecting Turkey's decision, the reality is that Washington is struggling to adapt to a world where its influence is being challenged. Turkey's move toward BRICS signals that nations are no longer content to be pawns in the U.S.-led global order. Instead, they are seeking new partnerships that better reflect their interests, free from Western interference. As the U.S. grapples with its declining influence, what does this mean for other nations looking to BRICS as a viable alternative? One important part of this story is Africa. Africa has long been a battleground for global influence, with Western nations historically viewing the continent as a place to extract resources and exert control. But as BRICS continues to gain momentum, African nations are finding new opportunities to assert their agency. Turkey's application to BRICS is significant not only for the bloc itself, but also for Africa, as it signals a broader shift toward global realignment. For African nations, BRICS represents a departure from the old ways of doing business with the West. No longer are they beholden to the IMF and World Bank's stringent loan conditions or forced to navigate Western-centric trade deals. Instead, BRICS offers a chance to engage in economic cooperation that respects Africa's autonomy and development goals. Turkey's decision to align itself with BRICS only strengthens the bloc's position as a viable alternative to Western dominance. African nations, many of which have already embraced BRICS as a platform for economic growth, stand to benefit from this growing coalition of like-minded countries. In many ways, BRICS represents a new era of partnership for Africa, one that is built on mutual respect and shared interests, rather than exploitation and control. So, as BRICS strengthens, how will this affect the West's influence? The West, particularly the U.S., has long viewed itself as the arbiter of global order. But as Turkey's BRICS application shows, the days of Western hegemony are rapidly coming to an end. As more nations turn to BRICS as an alternative to Western dominance, the question becomes, how will the West react to its fading influence? The U.S. response to Turkey's BRICS application was the last piece of the puzzle. It proved how hard it is for the West to accept the reality that is unfolding. But will more nations follow Turkey's lead in this decision? Does the world truly need a multipolar order? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Is a multipolar world possible? Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We have decided to bring videos on something nobody talks about, African politics, economy, and increasing power. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned. Tell us what you think in the comment section. Like and share the video, and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our African videos. It's the best way to support us.